What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And what I have for you today is a review of the computer backpack by Swiss Gear. Now they do have other types of bags for whatever reason you need that certain type. However, I'm going to review this type right here, which I'm not sure what the exact name is. I'm kind of sad about that. But let's go ahead and take a look at the backpack itself. So as you can see, we have the three compartments right here. We have the front compartment right here, the middle compartment right here, and as well as the third compartment right here, which is actually the main compartment for where your computer is going to sit. So as you can see, here is the inside of this pocket right here, and you might not be able to see it, but there's like a little flap right here. That flap is basically, so that way it stays there and your computer will sit on that. So. Let's actually try to fit a computer in here. So I have my Sony Bio PC right here. And I'm just gonna unplug it right here. And there goes the Ethernet cable. <laughs> All right, so here's my computer right here. And what I'm gonna do is actually fit this laptop in there. And as you can see, the computer is safe and sound. And if you guys already have uh, some sort of sleeve in on your computer, you can fit the computer in here with the sleeve on, and then you have double the protection. And of course, this compartment right here, you basically have all your other stuff. So you can fit in like books and then your binders or stuff like that. That's actually what I use this compartment for. And so, and of course you have like a little flap right here so you can fit some paperwork in there which I don't recommend at all because your paperwork will still get all crumbled in there and it'll just get all wrinkled and then it'll look unprofessional and then of course we have the third compartment right here and look at this pocket right here this is basically a pocket where you can store all your electronics so for example we got my iPhone right here and I'm just gonna store it in here and then just zip it up and then I'm good to go. And of course I do have some slots right here for some credit cards and maybe fit some ID cards or something. And this pocket right here is actually meant to fit a cell phone. Now, as far as smartphones is concerned, the smartphones are getting a little bit bigger so I believe they're meant for this pocket right here. I think these are meant for the older style Go phones which are probably like crap right now, maybe not. And then of course you have this pocket right here and it's actually to fit a camera. Now I can't fit a camera right here because this camera right here, I'm using it to film this video right now. Alright, and as you can see, we'll just take everything out of here. So le let me just tell you guys about this bag. Now how do I use this backpack right here? I use this backpack on a daily basis. I use this for school. And this main compartment right here for the computer, I don't even put a computer in there due to the fact that I'm restricted to have my own computer in school as I am a high school student right now. Maybe it's different for some districts, for, for me, that's the rule. And so that compartment right there, I just use it to put my sweater in there and then maybe put one textbook in there. And then of course the second compartment I would put at I would put uh, three binders, which are one inch, three ring binders, plus my notebook, plus my planner to write down all my homework assignments. And then I would just store it into that little flat pocket. Plus I have a notebook right there for uh, backup paper in case I run out of loose leaf paper in my binder. And then not only that, I also have a folder in there as well. And then the third compartment right here, that dedicated electronic pocket that you see right here. I use that to store this thing right here. And it fits perfectly well. Not to mention, I might just put some scrap and then candy right here, as well as all my paperwork passes that I'm going to need in order to get through the day because I do need to have passes to go to certain places in the school building. So what I think about this backpack, this is a really great backpack. Again, I don't know the exact name for this, however, you check out Swiss Gear's products, they really do have great products on their market. Now, the one negative that I have about this is this main compartment right here. So, usually when I would have some heavy stuff in here that'll go almost all the way to the top, not, not maybe close or something, and let me just put this here, sorry. And the one thing I don't like about this compartment right here is that the, the zipper, when they're zipped up like this, and 
I walk up on a hill, which has to be like at least 45 degrees or something. And then when I get home, I see that my compartment right here is actually unzipped this much. And that's a problem because you never know. There's someone could be walking behind you and they could just stick their hand in like that. And then whatever they see in there, they're going to take it. And you do have to be aware for that. It would be even worse if I had my computer in there. And another negative that I have, this is the back of it. And as you can see, it has these paddings right here. So that way your back does not soar. And I really do like that. But the problem is this, this threading right here, I've been using this for at least almost two years now. And this threading was already starting to tear. So I had to have my mom sew it back up. As you can see, it's sewn back here, but it's not sewn over here. So there's probably either, it's just this side, there's something wrong with it or it's basically the material of the thread that they're using and the way I was wearing my backpack. But overall, I really do like this backpack. And if you guys want to check out Swiss Gears products to see what other backpacks they have that's like similar to this one, but maybe something better for you, um, go ahead and Google who search them and get their shopping results on Amazon. It doesn't matter. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Also follow me on Twitter. I will see you guys in the next video. You have a good day.